One of the really things you got to focus on when making a fairway wood is make sure that it's going to perform well in all conditions. You know, it's a really versatile club. A lot of people hit it off the tee, you know, on a short hole, but it is a fairway wood. You got to be able to hit it off the fairway. One of the things that we really did a lot of research on, it seems like a simple concept, but the speed bevel along the front of the, along the, front of the club. Well, what our testing showed is when you catch it a little bit heavy, really if you get a too sharp a leading edge on the fairway wood, your butt head speed just drops off the planet and the ball doesn't really go anywhere. But with this speed bevel, it all acts almost like bounce on a wedge where it helps it to skid a little bit through the turf and retain that ball speed and get really good performance. I'm gonna hit right there. I'm, you're gonna get a face full of dirt. Now you normally take a small divot, but that one really skidded across the turf really nicely. I've been using the MX700 for a while, but I had to do a couple things to get it to look right and actually perform right for me in the bag. The one right off the shelf was a little bit too hooked and didn't and went a little bit too high for me. So I was able to actually bend mine open a little bit and that helped helped get the face angle right and the height right. But with the JPX800, this club comes right off the shelf, sitting square and launches really easily and the spin rates are really low. So this one can go right in without doing any manipulations to it. With the MP, it was a really small golf club, and the MP club looked like it's going to hit a low kind of a bullet. This thing, on the other hand, it looks like it sits behind the ball square, but it looks like it's going to launch really easy and just go. We put a 1770 cup face on it. And what that is, is it because the fairway wood is naturally a shallow club, especially in this type of design, the one that'll launch easy, the trampoline of the face isn't very big, so you got to do certain things to make sure that the COR is going to be as high as possible. By using a special miraging steel cup face, we're able to essentially increase that trampoline and make the COR really big and the ball just jumps off the face. See, what I like about that is it launched really high. I missed that just a tiny bit, but I felt like the ball speed was really good and it launched nice and it didn't spin too much. One of the things that a lot of pl good players don't like to see is when you hit a low, low, thin fairway wood, it tends to launch really low and spin up and drop right out of the air really short. With this, because it's a little bit more forgiving on the low hits due to the UDS design, when you hit this low on the face, it's going to launch and carry almost like a normal center shot. And kind of the beauty of this club is it's really anybody could play it. You know, as myself as a better player, I feel like what I like about it is that it looks easy to launch, looks like, looks like it's going to go well, and doesn't look like it's going to go left. But for the higher handicapper, because it is, you can see a lot of face on it, it looks like it's going to launch easy, and it's kind of a shallow face, I think anybody could play this club.